one thing I definitely did want to did want to touch on is so you're involved also in like the Brazilian side of the GNOME community, and I. I, I mentioned earlier, I am, I am a boring monolingual person that only knows English. So I have no idea what the FOSS world looks like outside of the English speakers. What mm -hmm. sort of... Like, how big is Linux in that Brazilian community? How, like, you know, other... Yeah, just go on any sort of tangent you want about that. A lot to talk about. It's a pretty big community in here. Um, look closely, you're going to find Brazilians everywhere. It is. I I think we are like. We are like SCPs, you know. Before you know about them, you don't see them. But once you start seeing them, they are everywhere. <laughs> Every corner, there's one. Free software has been. Um... <laughs> you mentioned that, and then I just remember the fact it's not Brazilian, but there's like three Filipino people in my Discord. Like, I I don't know whether like I have like one percent Filipino audience. I don't know whether where they all came from and why they all happen to be in the Discord. But... We are a legion, bloody. <laughs> you may be one, and you didn't even you didn't even notice. It's a big community. We have yeah. like it's quite active. Mm -hmm. There's people contributing with code. There's people doing engagement. There's people doing marketing. There's people just talking about it, and it's pretty. It's pretty fun. It's pretty active. Mm -hmm. South America and basically all the Latin America um, sections of the planet are pretty. I feel like we are pretty deep into software. Gnome's a is a Mexican project, for all the matters. Um, I don't know if you know about that, but it's a, essentially a Mexican project. Mm -hmm. um, Federico Mena and Miguel de Casa both created it with a bunch of others in a Mexican university somewhere. I don't oh. remember the name of the city. Yeah, Federico is still around, by the way. It's pretty active in the community. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if there's much more to say because. If you look at only Brazilians, I think we made a mistake in the past where free software was promoted here in Brazil as um, gratis, you know, as right. cost-free software instead of the liberty to hack on this thing. Mm -hmm. And then it, it had a golden moment and then the, the, the wave fell and then it raised, it's raising again much more slowly, but I feel like more, it's much more... Um, like on topic with the with the values of free software, mm -hmm. like people are, the people joining are getting the 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 whole concept. Right, I can say it like this. There are tons of Latin Americans working on GNOME. I'd say I don't have numbers. We don't sure sure have numbers, but I'd say thirty percent of the community. But the fact that everybody speaks English is hides that away. Yeah, I guess I, think. That, I guess that makes sense. Huh. But there are sub communities. I think French people are also um, uh, massively into free software, mm -hmm. and they have local communities. I I I participate in the local communities. The problem of Brazil is that it's such a massive country. It's hard to get people together. Mm -hmm. It's if you take, if you take the northernmost point of Brazil, mm -hmm. it is closer to Canada than it is to the southernmost point of Brazil. Okay. That's how. <laughs> size of that's Brazil. how tall this place is. It's difficult to get people together. Wait, what the hell? I fact checking I'm... that you can. No, no, I, I, I just looked up size of Brazil, and it's not that much smaller than the United States. What the hell? I yeah. did not realize it was that big. <laughs> yes. It puts a lot of constraints on how much we can do in terms of like hackfests and 
right. like in-person events and whatnot. There's people that are, I, I am closer to like Argentinians than to most, a lot of people here in Brazil. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not as, as, it's not widely different from other places. Like I'm sure somebody in, our, in North America is going to complain about the wide country they have. I live in Australia. <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> Don't you guys have like a massive desert? That yeah, is so unbelievable. If you look at the um, population map of Australia, along the coastline, it's all population, and there's like a couple of dots in the middle where there are like um, mm -hmm. Aboriginal communities, where there are like mining towns, but the rest of it is completely empty. Sounds like a good place for free software to flourish. <laughs> Empty place, no annoyances. That's fair. We can even grow our potatoes <laughs> together. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty active. If you look close, if you look hard enough, you're gonna see that we're everywhere. Mm. People just don't notice. I guess, as you were saying before, the fact that. You know, English is sort of the default language on the internet. And if you're going to get involved with a lot of projects, you kind of have to know English to some extent. Obviously, there is, you know, e even if you're doing translation, you still need to be able to speak the language that other people involved in the project know so you can, like, communicate that you want to do the translation. But, yeah, I, gu yeah, I guess. And... A lot of people don't use their like actual names as well, so that also makes it a lot easier to hide it as well. So, yeah, is that true? But um, you know, I try to get people together because for a long time, especially when I was starting to contribute to GNOME, I thought I was alone in Brazil. Mm -hmm. Um, and for like about two years, I didn't even realize that were that were other people in here were contributing as well. Nowadays, I have, have like my, on Fridays, I do. I have um, a show called, uh, there's no good way to translate it, it's like Friday with Gnome, mm -hmm. something like that, um, where we just sit down and talk and get the community together in a, in a virtual fireplace, you know? <laughs> um, and I try to mix streams of um, English content and Portuguese content so that nobody's left out. And I wish I could know more languages. I was planning on doing some Spanish streams. Um, I even thought about doing a Japanese stream, but I don't really know too much Japanese to to, <laughs> to do that live. I know a little bit. Complicated. <laughs> I, 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 I can do an introduction. That's don't, And I can, like, order some food and find get directions, ah. but don't expect me to do any sort of, like, actual discussion. That's not going to happen. Ah. 